Denise, congrats on the win. Um, as mentioned, post fight is kind of a slugfest. Obviously, you handled it fairly easily. What kind of fight? When you have a fight like that, what does that bring out about you and just your background, kickboxing, all that? This is what I love, you know, like stand up and just slug and just go in there to fight. And also I give credit to her because she also came to fight. And that is what I also love. And I think for the audience, for everyone who's loving MMA, this is the kind of fight we want to see, you know. So women's MMA is the future. Absolutely. Kind of took my next question. There's all the rumors about the future of this organization. But when you reel off two wins in a row like you have, where are you at and where do you expect to go in your in your future? Are you looking to stay in MMA and continue, you know, this this win streak? For sure. You know, like exactly this weekend, six years ago, I fought my very first MMA Bellator fight and I was already the Bellator kickboxing champ. And six years ago I fought my first MMA fight and I won now six years further and I'm fighting on this card you know here in Chicago and I feel on everything that tonight is history and for me it's just a pleasure to being in it and being on this card and thankful for everything that Bellator has done for me because yeah now I don't think about something further than Bellator because Bellator is really in my in my heart. Well, I have to ask now that you said that, can you kind of summarize what you've learned about yourself as a woman, as a fighter in these last six years? If you look back to that debut that you made and where you're at now? You know, like MMA is so tough. You know, I respect everyone who's being on this stage and fighting their ass off <laughs> in that cage and you know like I've been on a roller coaster I did really good things I fought for the title then after that I was in a really dark place because I lost a couple of fights and then I came back you know I fall and I came back and only that lesson that MMA has tough uh, have have br brought me is making me a better person for the future in my whole life. So I'm forever thankful for MMA that has br bring, brought me to me this experience because I really fall, I really felt really hard and I was in a really dark place, but I came out and I today my second win and also with my new coach, I'm just looking really brightful to the future. I was going to say, so after coming out of that dark place, you reel off two straight wins like you have. Where are you mentally? Are obviously happy to get the win, but just more optimistic and excited for the future? For sure. You know, I'm looking at my coach and I'm saying, Monday, we're in, back in the gym and going further on the plan because this is just the beginning. And I'm still, I'm still hungry for an MMA world title, you know, and that's my goal. And I, I, I'm now 34 and I see myself fighting in two years. And in this two years, I want to give, I want to give everything I have to going for that title again. Well, you've kind of talked, you said to start this, you said women's MMA is the future. As someone who has spent so much time in kickboxing, what is the biggest thing you can take away from the challenges that MMA has brought to you throughout your career? You know, like when I was a kickbox champion, like I had every opponent in kickboxing I fought. And you are at a kind of top level. But in MMA, you have every day a new challenger every day there comes a new girl from wrestle to boxing so the challenges are just top level and that makes this sport so so that makes this sport big and this make, makes it sp <coughs> this sport challenging for me because you can be the best one day but the next day there comes another girl who's came from another sport and challenge you and making the best part of you so that's what makes mma just the top of the top of all martial arts sporters Thank denise be, because of your um, your kickboxing accolades i feel like samiko is a, a smart enough fighter to to know what she had to watch out for in this fight but do you feel like even though she could game plan knowing that you were going to bring a kick heavy attack that, that maybe she just hadn't been in there with somebody as aggressive in that form of, of, of striking as you are. I think that, um, you know, like, um, 
she's also tough and she have also a really good uh, stand up game but i think that um if i have to be like a little bit of confidence and my gra my my stand up game is a little bit different than other girls and i i experienced that in kickboxing like everyone thought okay i'm going to challenge her or everyone thought okay i'm going to stand up with her in an mma fight and then if they're standing in uh, against me they think okay no i want to go to the ground you know so i know that my stand up game is a little bit more experience a little bit more better than the rest of this division so that's why i prefer always for that takedown events appreciate it thank you so much thank you